Hi there, thank you for watching this clip on finding first derivative. Let's get started. We have a natural log here, so f prime is equal to 1 over whatever this big bracket is. We're going to put it in here. Okay, let's set it up first. And then whatever this bracket, derivative of, of this whole bracket. And inside the bracket I have 1 plus natural log, 1 minus natural log. Okay, and the thing we're going to be taking derivative also using chain rule is minus x natural log. All right, this looks pretty complicated. And uh, when the problem gets long and tedious, what you, re you really want to do is slow down. Slow down does, does two things. Number one, it prevents you making a mistake. And number two, if you do make a mistake, it allows you a chance to at least catch it. So what we're going to do here is going to flip it. So 1 minus natural log of x on top, 1 plus natural log of x on the bottom. So this part is complete. Now here we have a quotient here. Okay, so let's set it up again. 1 minus natural log. This one is going to be squared on the bottom. The quotient will set, take a derivative of the top, which we know it's 1 over x. Leave the bottom one alone. Okay, minus now this is important because it's a minus sign. If it's an adding sign in like product rule, then we don't really care. But since it's a minus, we do have to take derivative of the top first. Okay, minus leave the top one alone, which is one plus natural log of x times derivative of the bottom one, which is minus one over x. Boy, it's a handful here. All right, now let's slow down and make sure we can simplify and not losing any terms. This chunk cross out with that one. Well, that's always good. When you multiply those two using different square, you have 1 minus natural log x squared. Okay. And then on the top, I have two fractions. I have x here, 1 minus natural log of x. Since there's a minus minus, I have a plus sign. Uh, x is here, 1 plus natural log of x. Well, it doesn't look too bad. So combine those natural log cancels out. I have 2 over x times 1 over 1 minus natural log x. I'm going to put a square here. Okay, this is the shorthand to write it. It's natural log x, the whole thing, square. So let's do it one more term and clean it up. 2 over x times natural log. 1 minus natural log square x. Now this one does not equal to natural log of x squared. So pay attention there. All right, well, that's how we handle the derivative of this big, long, complicated function here. I hope it's helpful and it's very clear to you. Please share your comment on YouTube and vote like if you find it helpful. Thank you. Till next time, have a confident day.